In the previous video we made all the black and red pointers disappear at once and reappear at once, which is the beginnings of animation, being able to make a figure appear and disappear. But what we really want is just one pointer to up, appear and then disappear and then reappear in another position so it gives the illusion of motion. In order to create this effect we need to add a couple controlling variables. A bool called F flip flop and an int called N curve pointer. Then in the form load event we want to initialize these variables. The bool to true and the end curve pointer to zero. And what these controlling variables are controlling is passing through a series of uh, pointers. In fact a uh, array of arrays of pointers. And in order to do this we're going to have to make each of these uh, pointer arrays static or else we'll get an error. So now we got rid of the error messages that these are non-static -sta pointer arrays and our array of array of pointers. And the next thing we need is a uh, function which turns the pointer on or off <coughs> based on two parameters. First uh, pointer selection and secondly a uh, bool that says whether to turn it on or turn it off in terms of the pointer. And we have a solid brush local variable SB curve brush because either the pointer is going to be black or red depending on which side of the uh, rectangles we're going through. And basically this code says if the uh, pointer says or if the boolean says to turn it on we set the uh, pointer at the current location which this is a reference to the two-dimensional array which selects the current location with a number 0 through 9. Basically the number 0 through 9 gets passed. And it says if this is set to on set this pointer to the current brush but if it's not set to on and there was set to off set this pointer to the current background and lastly in the uh, button event handler we need to put the code that first calls the function and then changes the control variables. And this basically has a couple of conditional operators. It says if the flip-flop is true, uh, make it false. And if the flip-flop is false, you do the else part of the conditional operator, so you set it to true. So it basically just flips the uh, boolean between true and false every time we press this button. And then it uh, this code says if the flip-flop is true it means we need to move the pointer actually we don't need to move the pointer for this time but we need to move the pointer for the next time this button is pushed and this has a conditional operator that says if the current pointer is equal to 9 it means we've reached the last pointer set the current pointer to 0 otherwise set the current pointer to current pointer plus 1 and one thing I want to do for this is move the run button up to here so that we can see the display while we press the run button. I think that'd probably be good. So if we save this and compile and run it and then press step to display the six triangle or the five uh, rectangles and then press run, we see the initial triangle appear. If we press run again, it disappears because the flip-flop is now converted to off and the pointer is now moved to the next position. So if we press run again, this appears in the next position. When we press run, it disappears. 
and so on down the uh, the line and it wraps around to the red with the curb brush switching from black to red because it's past the five and goes down the red the same way so this is a manual version of the animation but of course we really want the animation to work for itself and we'll see how to do that in the next video well I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe